What is the Codex Gigas? The Codex Gigas, also known as the Devil's Bible, is a manuscript that was written in the 13th century and was allegedly written by the Devil himself, hence why it's called the Devil's Bible. The Codex Gigas is best known for a full-page illustration of the Devil. On the opposite page, there's also an illustration of the Kingdom of Heaven. We'll talk more about these later on. According to legend, the Codex Gigas was written in the Benedictine Monastery by a monk named Herman the Recluse. Herman allegedly broke his monastic vows and was sentenced to be walled up alive, but in a plea for his life, he convinced the abbot to let him live, if he could write a book detailing the entire history of humanity up to that point, which he was only given one day to do. He wrote for hours non-stop, but as midnight grew closer, he realized he couldn't get it done before morning. In an act of desperation, he made a plea with the devil in order to finish the book. Hey you! Please help me! What do you want? I'm trying to watch Full House. Look, I'm just desperate, okay? I can't get this book completed before midnight, and I really don't want to spend the rest of my life trapped inside a wall. Please help me! Ugh, fine! If it'll get you off my balls, I'll finish the book for you! Oh, thank you! You're a lifesaver! Eat a bag of dicks! The book is bound in two wooden boards wrapped in leather, with metal guards and fittings around it. It's also the largest medieval manuscript in the world, at 36 inches long, 20 inches wide, and 1.8 inches thick, and weighing 165 pounds, 74.8 kilograms. The Codex Gigas is so heavy that it requires two people to carry it. The illustration depicts the devil as a humanoid figure with a green face, two tongues, and red horns. He has otherwise normal body proportions apart from having four fingers and toes with red claws. He also has red claws on the back of his feet as well. He's also wearing a loincloth which people speculate is made from stout fur, which in the Middle Ages was a symbol of royalty. The double tongue is meant to evoke the fork-tongued serpent, which is one of the many forms attributed to Satan in Christianity. Two Hebrew alphabets are written on the first page, as well as the Glagolitic and early Cyrillic alphabets. The rest of the book, however, is written in Latin, and according to Wikipedia, consists of the entire Vulgate version of the Latin Bible, except for the books of Acts and Revelation, which are from the pre-Vulgate version. However, one question remains. If this book was written by Satan, then why does it show a depiction of heaven opposite to the devil? It's said that Herman the Reclusive added the illustration of the devil as a tribute for finishing the manuscript, but others have claimed that's meant as a warning not to sell your soul to the devil, hence the illustration of heaven. The Codex Gigas is currently located in the National Library of Sweden, where it's on display for the general public. And that just about covers the Codex Gigas. But what do you think? Do you think this book was really written by the devil, or do you think the story is just a load of baloney? As always, I strongly encourage you to do your own research on this topic and come to your own conclusion instead of just taking my word at face value. And with that, my name is PJ, and I'm gonna go get ice cream.